Hi there, and welcome to Brian's Mind. This is Brian. We haven't had an update in a while because my daughter took our camera and went somewhere on a vacation, and she came home without the camera. So this is a brand new camera. Yes, you are being filmed on your third camera. If you've been with Brian's Mind that long, this is our third camera. And this one, the girl will never touch no matter what. She could be on her deathbed. And the only thing to bring her back to life would be able to touch this camera. Sorry, girl. See you at your funeral. But, anyways, I digress. So this is a brand new camera we just picked up today. This is Friday, I believe. Yes, Friday. Two days after Christmas. Right? Or today Saturday? Today's Saturday. Today Saturday. Wow. Okay, today's Saturday. Still a couple days after Christmas. Anyways, what are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about my Christmas gifts. Now, what did I get? I got some cool stuff, like a video camera I just went out and bought today. Um, <laughs> actually, that wasn't a Christmas gift. That was just a necessity to let my little girl know to keep her damn hands off my stuff. Um, what else did I get? I got a handgun that I wanted, and I'm not going to tell you the make or model because I'm not supporting the use of your First Amendment rights or Third Amendment rights or what right is it? Second Amendment. Look, my cameraman. That's why I love the guy. Just like that. Here I'm ready to say my free speech is why I can have a gun. But actually, it's not. What's the Third Amendment? Quartering troops. See? And if they want to quarter troops, i got to go for that too. It's my Second Amendment. And I'm going to use my Second Amendment rights to keep the Fifteenth Amendment away. What's Fifteenth Amendment? No. He doesn't know. See, I, I stumped. I slavery. I don't even know what Fifteenth Amendment is. It's a joke. Anyways, uh, i got a gun, so if you want to come to my house, I will shoot you. And I'm looking to practice, so please come break into my house. Um, I got some socks that I wanted. I got some flannel shirts that I wanted. I know there's lesbians out there that are going to be bummed that I took your flannel shirts, but I like flannel. Um, what else did I get? I got some movies, old, old movies. I'm a big 70s movie buff, so I got uh, over 100 movies from the 70s that are drive-ins and thrillers and crap like that. And then I also got one of my favorite TV shows. I got the complete uh, Dragnet DVD set. So yes, I can watch Dragnet now. That's one of my favorite shows. The original, not the crap with Tom Hanks and not Bill Murray, the other idiot from Saturday Night Live, the fat one that married the hot blonde. Um, Dan Aykroyd um, with the Virgin County Swales. See, I can remember the name of the movie, lines of the movie, but I can't remember the damn actors. Anyways, um, and I got that, and I got some candy that I needed, and some chocolates and peanuts and stuff like that. And I know my kids probably got me something, but I can't remember what. What did you guys get me? Uh, those movies. Oh, the movies, that's right. They got me movies. See, I knew my kids got me something. What did I get my wife? Absolutely nothing. Why? Because that's what she deserves. Now, my kids, on the other hand, got her an Xbox 360 with the new Tomb Raider game. So, needless to say, I will have at least another week of my wife not bothering me. Because after a week, she'll solve the game. And then I'll have to write a letter to Idios or Edios, whatever it's called, and tell them to make a new Tomb Raider game so my wife will leave me alone for another week. Um, my kids did okay. They got their usual crap that they actually ordered for themselves, and uh, we just paid for it. So, there was no surprises there. Um... Grandma got stuff she wanted, and uh, the dogs got some. It was actually kind of cool because they had stockings for naughty and nice dogs. And anybody that knows the big black dog, he was naughty, so he got the naughty one, and the nice one went to the little baby dog. That's actually not a baby's ten, but that's what we got for Christmas. So that is what Brian's Christmas was like. I would have filmed it for you and put some of it on plane, but like I said, somebody lost the camera, cannot find it, left it in whatever foreign country they left it in, and stuff like that, so it's long gone. And until next time, this has been Brian's Mind Christmas Post Edition. Have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Merry New Year's, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Festivus, and if I missed your holiday, you need to don't count.